bucket and freezer. You'll just need a, a bucket of hot soapy water and the broom, and that's about it. Um, some areas to pay attention to when you're cleaning are around the rubber gaskets on the door where they catch a lot of fingerprints with dirty hands, and then the inside door where people push their way out, and then of course the handle. And then on the inside of the lock-in, basically Courtney or I will go through any of the leftover items that are in here, we'll let you know what stays and what goes, and then after we've removed all of those, you'll just wipe down the shelves on the top and the bottom, moving anything to the side that you may need to uh, clean around, and then replacing those items. If there's any splashes or fingerprints on the back of the walls, very easy to wipe clean with just a soft cloth. Once you've done the whole entire area, um, wiping the bottom shelves, you'll want to just sweep this entire area out. If there's anything that needs to be mopped, it's best just to do it with your cloth after you're done cleaning the entire piece of equipment. You don't really need to bring a mop in here. Now, of course, in the uh, freezer, you won't want to take any rags or um, water or anything like that in there. You'll just simply sweep out the area by pushing the racks to the side and sweeping out the entire area with the broom. And then if there's any organization, folding in boxes, making sure that things look nice in here, but nothing needs to be wiped down in here. 